man knoweth none, not, neither doth a fool understand this. When the wicked spring as a, as a grass, and when all the workers of iniquity do flourish, it is that they shall be destroyed forever. But thou, Lord, at most I forevermore. For lo, thy enemies, O Lord, for lo, thy enemies shall perish. All the workers of iniquity shall be scattered. But my horn shall thou exalt like the horn of an unicorn. I shall be anointed with fresh oil. My eye also shall see my desire on my enemies and my eye and my ears shall hear my desire of the wicked that rise up against me. The righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. It shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Those that, um, those that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. They shall still bring forth fruit in old age. They shall be fat and flourishing to show that the Lord is upright. He is my rock and there is no unrighteousness in him. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You know that verse one started with, it said it is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord. To sing praises unto the name of the Lord Most High. One thing that has um, encouraged me in giving thanks to the Lord at all times. I don't forget the words of my husband. He will say, if it takes you like 30 minutes to ask something from God. And God did that thing. God came through. Then same energy that you use in asking God. Use the same energy to praise him. So it is a good thing to praise God. It is a good thing to give thanks. Let this be our watchword. Even give thanks more than you ask from the Lord. Just find reasons. Just give him praise. Always ensure in your heart. Ensure that you are saying, my God is a good God. No matter the situation. No matter the circumstances. And it will always come true for you. You know, the devil will not be able to take advantage of you to think, oh, maybe God is, 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 is trying to do wickedness or God is not good. He will not be able to turn your heart away from God. You know, when we turn our heart away from God, then the blessings of God will not be able to reach us. So at all times, I want to encourage each and every one of us. Let's make it a duty to praise God. Whenever you have the opportunity, maybe they are singing praise and worship. Ensure you are worshiping God. Create an audience with God. Even if the person is singing off key, you sing song that God will know. Register your presence in the presence of God. May the Lord help us to always have a grateful heart unto him in Jesus' name. Okay. And then he was talking about upon an instrument of ten strings and upon the psalm tree, upon the harp with a solemn sound. You know, even at home, you know, recently I was just looking at, okay, we need to get some instrument even in our house to start worshipping God. Get instrument, do things, your phone, download songs that can help you plug your ears. Just find reasons to give thanks unto the Lord. All right, I want to quickly move to um, verse 10. He says, but my horn shalt thou exalt like the horn of an unicorn. I shall be anointed with fresh oil. You know, we'll be praying some of this prayer, um, some of these um, verses this evening for our lives, for our families, for anyone that is in connection with us that have one contact with us or the other. We'll be praying for Potter's house, whoever will step their feet in this church, whether in this building or anywhere, we will maybe eventually move to our home permanent site. That the Lord in himself, by himself, will anoint their head with fresh oil. That even you, you will not just be coming to church. You will not lack oil. You know, they will, they will not be casting spell and then it is you that spell we work on. That means you, you, you are not carrying any oil. 
So we will be praying tonight. He said, but my horn shalt thou exalt like the horn of an unicorn. A unicorn is very powerful. A unicorn is very powerful. Are you powerful? Are you a Christian that carries power? Why are you a Christian? Do you carry power? Do you know the power that is inside of you? Do you have faith? Do you believe in the God, that great God that is inside of you? Do you know who you carry? Do you believe in him? Do you believe the scriptures? The Bible says that greater is he that lives in me than he that lives in the world. You know, it's not just about head knowledge. You need to come into that consciousness. You know, you are going on the road and then you see a sacrifice. All this sacrifice they put inside, inside Calabas. And you say, mm, hey, hey, hey. why are you a Christian? What do you carry? Do you know who you are? So we need to walk in this understanding so that we will be exalted. It, it said, okay, sorry. Um, it said, but my horn shalt thou exalt like the horn of an unicorn. You, you, you are conscious of what you carry. It's not pride. You are conscious of it. You dreamt, uh, you, you, you just dreamt that something, something happened in the gym. And then you just started running up and down, calling pastor, calling this one. Uh, it doesn't. Do you know who you carry? Can you stand up on your feet and pray by yourself? Carry the word of God. And then decree the word of God. Yes, I'm not saying you should not call your pastor. Or people that can join you in prayer. They should join you. They should pray with you. Yes. Prayer of agreement. Not that you are scared. You are so afraid. You don't know the power that is inside of you. Grow. We need to grow as a Christian. May the Lord help us in Jesus name. Okay. Verse 12 says the righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. It shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Not just anybody will flourish. <laughs> it is the righteous. It is the righteous. And when we are saying the righteous, there is a part of we've been born again. We are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. And a place of are we also walking in this righteousness? If we say Christ Jesus lives in us, are we portraying the life of Christ? What kind of fruit are we manifesting? Are we bringing forth fruit meant for repentance? He said, by their fruit, we shall know them. What kind of fruit is coming out from your life? He said, the righteous, the righteous, especially in this, our economy in Nigeria. The Bible is so complete. The Lord has made provision for every season and time. Every season and time. He has made provisions for them. He said, the righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. Look at palm tree. Whether in the dry season or rainy season, or he's still doing what? He's still standing. That's a righteous person. That is what we are to manifest as a Christian. That is a covenant that God has given us unto us through Christ Jesus. That is the reason why Christ Jesus gave himself to be beaten up so that you will flourish. We need to come to this understanding. We need to carry the life of Christ. If you want to enjoy the benefit of Christ, then you need to come into the consciousness of what Christ Jesus have, has done for you. He says, the righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. He shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Those that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the court of our God. Can you see that? There is provision for us. So much blessing. So, I don't know, sometimes we just underestimate God. Imagine God who created the whole universe. Like everything, you know, everything. So rich. So he is very rich. So why do you undermine God? In your head, why, do you, why are you so little in your mind? That you cannot receive all that God has provided for us. May the Lord grant us understanding in Jesus' name. 
Okay, he said, 14 says, they shall still bring forth fruit in old age. They shall be fat and flourishing. This evening as well, we'll be praying for fruitfulness. Fruitfulness in every area. There is nothing like I retire and I'm not flourishing. And I'm not, fruit, and I'm not fruitful. No, there is nothing like I'm waiting on my children to feed me. Claim the blessings of God. I'm not saying, um, children, please support your um, parents. But parents, you know, I, that, that, that's the kind of thing I'm coming into. The Bible says, if you look at men of old, they left inheritance for their children. Many inheritance. Look at um, the God we, we call the uh, God of Abraham, God of Isaac. Many things that Abraham left for Isaac. Isaac left many things just like that and like that. So we, we should not be helpless in our whole age. There is provision for us in the word of God. He says that they shall still bring forth, not just in your youthful age. He said they shall still bring forth fruit in old age, spiritually, physically, in every area. We will be ahead. Even as old people, you will be giving um, wisdom. You'll be advising youth. They will come for you. Will not be irrelevant. Can we pray that Lord, may I not lose my relevance in the name of Jesus? Okay, He said they shall be fat and flourishing. He said to show that the Lord is upright. He is my rock, and there is no unrighteousness in Him. Let's stand up on our feet this morning. I'm sorry, this evening. Can we all rise up? Let's rise up like a soldier. I know the Lord is our strength in the name of Jesus. We bow down and worship Yahweh. We Jesus, in the name of Jesus, 
I want us to pray, Lord, please open the eyes of my understanding to understand your word, to understand who I am as a Christian, to understand who I am in the name of Jesus. I hope we are praying this evening. Can you pray, Lord, grant me understanding. Help me to understand the work that Christ has done for me. Help me to understand who I am in Christ Jesus. You know, we always sing that song, I know who I am. I know, do you really know who you are? Huh? Do you know you carry power? Can, can you pray, Lord, open my eyes. Each time I, I open your word to read, help me to understand. Help me to claim all your promises in the name of Jesus. Help me not to be a king that is living like a slave because I, I lack understanding. In the name of Jesus, open your word to me. Open your word to me in the name of Jesus. I need you to pray for people that have encountered something with God. It is true, the word of God. They encounter something. They got a word from God. Can you pray, Lord, open the eyes of my understanding. Open the eyes of my understanding. Release upon or unto me, O oh God, your word of revelation, your word of wisdom. In the name of Jesus, that I will not be dull of hearing. My sight will not be dim. My I will not lack understanding to your word. I carry power. I carry fire of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, help me to know who I, I am in Christ Jesus. Help me to understand all Christ has done for me. In the name of Jesus. to us, oh God. No longer shall we be empty Christians without fire, without power. Lord, release your power like never before. Release your power like never before. Lord, release your power unto us, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Father, we beg of you, release your power. Release your power. Power to stand for righteousness. Power to do your will. Power to know who you who we really hang in you in the name of Jesus. You know, when God releases his power upon us, your fasting will not be an issue. You will delight, you will want to fast because you know all that you will gain from it. Can you pray, Lord, help me not to be lukewarm anymore. Help me not to be lukewarm anymore. Help me to be hot forever. Help me to be hot forever. Lord, take me back to my true love. Take me back to my first love in the name of Jesus. Mm. You know, many of us, we used to pray, we used to fast, we used to study the word of God. You, when you take the word of God to pray, you, you know that you are growing as a Christian. Can you pray that Lord have mercy on me? Maybe something happened that made you, that, 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 that just made you weary of these things. Can you pray, Lord have mercy on me? Lord have mercy on me. Lord have mercy on me. Restore my first love for you. Restore my first love for you. Help me to carry power. I don't want to be an empty Christian Lord. I don't want to be an empty Christian that ordinary lies. I just fall flat for temptations to lie. Lord help me to carry fire in my bosom. Fire oh God to overcome sin. To overcome every temptation. Grant me power. Re Release your power. Release your power upon us, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Some of us, God has helped us to overcome anger. But because you've been so distracted this day with situations, you, you no longer abide in the presence of God. You no longer find delight you are not interested in the things 
of God. Can you say, Lord, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Restore my first love for you. Restore my first love for you. Restore my first love for you. In the name of Jesus, help me to walk with you. Help me to walk with you. In the name of Jesus. When you have the power of God inside of you, you will be able to overcome sin and temptations. You will be able to overcome sins and temptations. Can you pray? Lord, grant me power. Release your fire upon me. In the name of Jesus, release your fire. Your fire. Your fire. In the name of Jesus. He said darkness could not comprehend and darkness could not comprehend light. You are the light of the world. Wherever you get to, just should not walk on you. Just should not walk on you because you carry the power of God. Can you say, Lord, fortify me. Fortify me with your power. The power that resurrected Christ Jesus from the from, the, from, from, from death, oh God. Lord, fortify me. Fortify me. I have received Christ Jesus as my personal Lord and Savior. I want to walk in the fullness of this power. I want to walk in the fullness of this power. Release upon us, oh God. And do us, Lord. Empower us, oh God. Have mercy upon us, Lord. Rekapalekosiadabayedebosha. That we will not be part of Christians that will be scared of witchcraft, that will be scared of wizardry. Can you pray that Lord release upon me power to be able to pray like never before. Beyond here, oh God, in my closet, in my bedroom, Lord, in my sitting room, wherever I find myself, release your power. Release your fire like never before. The power to pray, the power to intercede, the power to stand in God. Oh Lord, release upon me. Release upon us your children, Lord. We look to you for help. We look to you for help. No longer shall we be lukewarm. No longer shall we be lukewarm. We are fortified. We are endured. We are empowered. Can you engage God this evening? Can you receive something from heaven? Radedosa, Makopa Matoma, Radarosa, Rakapakata Bagada Baradea, Maseto Sikaria, Meropo Copo Rakada, Rakataya Kadada Yerabosha, Raposo Tobadia, Makataya Kadada, Rakosia, Mesotobo, Rakatabaya, Lacos, Rekoto. Maratosa, open up to us, Lord. Oh, Rado Pereco, Manana, Maco Passe and a Cusha, Rakakata, Lexosa, Mamma Endi, Rekepala Gada Baracapanda, Arosora, Cabocoto, Lenya Nana, Records, Renosha, Lacopo, Taba Yenebosha, Zekakata, Brecoposha, Raka. If you are struggling with any sin, can you call upon your maker this evening? Can you engage God? Can you hold him by the hem of his garment? I say, Lord, have mercy on me, Lord. Children, I want you to pray. Call upon God. 
you can call upon him, he can hear you. As a child, he can hear you. Call upon him and say, Father, have mercy on me. Empower me. Help me, oh God, to overcome sin. I don't want to lie anymore. I don't want to sin anymore. Can you pray? Can you say, Lord, help me. Help me, oh God. We want to carry God and gift our generation and gift generations beyond. Rick 
I want us to pray for every barren in our midst or any barren person or someone waiting mothers, waiting fathers that are looking to God for the fruit of the womb. Can you stand in the gap for their lives? Can you stand in gap? Can you intercede on their behalf and say, Lord, have mercy? Can you supplicate on their behalf? Can you beg the Lord on their behalf and say, this is your word. This is your word, oh God. This is what you said. You said they shall still bring forth fruit in old age. They shall be fat and flourishing. Oh Lord. Whatever issue is surrounding any, any issue of childbirth, Lord. You are the greatest physician. Come to heal, oh God. Remember them. Remember everyone looking up to you, oh God, for the fruit of the womb. Open up. Open their wombs to receive. Mm. Open their hearts to receive your word. For everyone that were waiting upon the Lord for child. For children, even in the Bible, it got to a time they received a word from the Lord and they believed. Let's pray that Lord, as you visit them, oh God, help their hearts to be receptive to you. Help them to believe. Help them not to be discouraged by medical, is a medical report. Help them to trust you. Help their own belief. Help their own belief. Lord, we plead with you. Look beyond their own belief. Please have mercy. Have mercy upon all our waiting mothers and waiting fathers. Release, oh God, the fruit of the womb. In the name of Jesus. That they will come back bringing their sheep with them. Can we decree that they will bring forth, they bring forth fruits from the Lord in the name of Jesus they receive power to be fruitful they receive power to be fruitful their womb is open for blessing everything that needs to be worked upon the greatest physician works upon them right now they receive their testimony they receive their miracles we will rejoice with them in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want you to pray for yourself and say, Lord, even till my old age, I will still bring forth. I will bring forth fruit even in my old age. I shall be fat and be flourishing. I want you to decree that into your life, into your family, into your children, into their children, children and children. All of my generation shall be poor. They will keep flourishing. They will keep flourishing. We will flourish. We will flourish in the grace and in the blessings of God. In the name of Jesus. He said the righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. 
And it shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Can you decree the word of the Lord for your lives? And say, Lord, I will stand as a righteous. My life will be righteous before you. I will be a right standing before you, oh God, all the days of my life. And I shall flourish like the palm tree. I shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. He said, those that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the court of our God. Forever and ever we shall delight in the things of the Lord. We shall delight in the acts and in the ways of the Lord. Oh, we will give God to our children and generations after them. When they remember us, they are so we will bless us. May we be blessings to generations and generations, even yet unborn. You know, sometimes I look at the lives of Kenneth again, and you know, they are, even their books, they, they are dead, oh. even their books are still blessed lives. Oh, may we get something from God and be able to transfer to generations and generations. Oh, that, that there will be a fountain that people will keep drinking and it will never dry. Oh, Lord, release upon us. That we will keep flourishing. <laughs> we will keep springing forth. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. This prayer point came to my mind and I need also pray it. Saying, may we never be weary of following God. You know, may situation not arise that will make us lose our faith. So I want you to pray to God that Lord, please help me. I will not be weary of following this truth. I will not be weary of following this life of Christ Jesus. Nothing will be able to take me away from you. Not even death of my loved ones. Not even things I'm asking of you that you did not give me. Lord, nothing will be able to take me away from you. Nothing will be able to separate me from you. Can we pray, Lord, have mercy on me. I will not be weary of your house. I will not be weary of your presence. I will not be weary of obeying you. I will not be weary of being a living sacrifice. I will not be weary. I will not be weary of releasing my life, my totality to you. Oh, I will not take my life back from you. Help me not to be weary. Strengthen our faith, Lord. It says in the last days, the love of many shall wax cold. May I not be part of this. Help my life. Help my children. That they will delight in this God and walk in your ways. Help us not to be weary. Help us not to be weary of serving you. Help us not to be weary of living for righteousness and standing for righteousness. Help us. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. 
in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Please quickly, I want us to open our Bibles to Matthew chapter 5. Matthew chapter 5 verse 14 to 15. Media, please, can you help us? Yes, thank you. It says, ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. 15. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Do you know God has lighted us this evening? And he's not going to put us under a bushel. <laughs> he has lighted us. He has blessed us. They are coming. They are going to manifest. So he said, Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick. Because God has lighted you, he is going to take you places where he wants you to show forth this light. To stand for righteousness. May you not fail God. May I not fail him. So beyond here I want us to. Even in our closet. Keep begging God for your life. That Lord. This light may you not go dim. May you keep shining. Say the path of the righteous. Shines brighter and brighter. Until the perfect day. The perfect day is when we dwell with God in a, a, when we dwell with our Savior eternally, after death, after the physical death. But while we are still yet alive, may this light keep shining in the name of Jesus. I want us to um, quickly pray for Potter's house that the Lord will keep making us light to the world. So I want us to engage God. Can you please pray? The Lord, our light will not go dim in Potter's house. May we be an example. He said, let your good works be shown before men, that they may glorify your Father which is in heaven. May, may people through our lives, you know, you are Potter's house. Potter's house is not, is not this building. You are Potter's house. I am Potter's house. May people come to Christ through my life. Can you pray that Lord? Let the light in us never go dim. Let nothing take away this light. May our life continue to bring men to sonship. May our life continue to bring glory to God in every areas. In every areas. In every areas. You know when Solomon was dedicating the temple, one of the prayer points he, he, he said then, he said any prayer they raise in this temple, Lord, let there be answers. Can we pray that Lord, any prayer request, that which is according to the counsel of the Lord, that it will be answered by the Lord in the name of Jesus. Let's pray. I hope we are praying. That the Lord, you will remember your covenant. Your covenant on Potter's house. Anytime we call upon you in this house, may, we, may, may, may our words be heard. And may you release your, your blessings. Even before we call, oh God, you will answer us. Let's pray that any time we come, bodies will be lifted. There will be great breakthroughs. None will go empty-handed. 
everyone that comes here downcasted, their souls will be lifted up by the time they are living. In the name of Jesus, every bodies will be lifted. Every closed doors will be opened. Every prayers will be answered. In the name of Jesus. Lastly, I want us to pray for love. That love we are bound in our midst. I need us to pray, Lord. Open our eyes to what love really means. And help us to operate in this love. Help us. It might not be easy. Lord, please help us. Help us as a church to walk in love. In the name of Jesus. He said, through this they will know that you are my disciples. If you love one another. Can you pray, Lord, help us to love indeed. Help us to walk in love. Help us to forgive easily. Help our heart. Help us to love as you loved. Help us, oh God. That you will grant us the grace to forgive easily. We will not be taking offenses. When offenses come, you will help us to, 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 to forbear the fruit of long suffering. We manifest. Help us to be disciples indeed. Teach us, Lord. Help us. Make us disciples indeed in Potter's house. Help us to love like never before. Help us to look after one another. Let your love so grow in our midst. That it will extend to people and they, they will want to enjoy this love. They will want to be part of this love. In the name of Jesus. For in Jesus mighty name we have prayed. For in Jesus mighty name we have prayed. So lastly before we go this night. I want us to pray concerning the cholera issues. You know. So yeah we can. Um, we can take precautions of wash your hand. Be careful of the food you eat. This one that one. You know but it is God actually that can protect. That can shield us from those things. So I want us to be able to psalm 91 and you'll be praying that for yourself for your family just fortify them with the word of god and have faith in what you, you what you what we are going to be reading so we'll be starting from verse um, one we'll read it to the end please sorry can we all stand up the Lord is our strength. <laughs> so let's stand up. So I want you to declare this word with the all of your being. Believe what you are saying. This is the word of God and the word of God is powerful. It is powerful. So we are going to be shielding ourselves from whatever plague, cholera, other things that they've not even, <laughs> they, they don't even know now. So we are going to be praying. So every, every one of us, let's read. One, two, ready, go. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge, my fortress, my God. In Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver us from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover us with his feathers, and under his wings shall we trust. His truth shall be our shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at our side, and ten thousand at our right hand, but it shall not come near us. 
Only with our eyes shall we behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because we have made the Lord, which is our refuge, even the most high our habitation. There shall no evil befall us, neither shall any plague come near our dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over us, to keep us in all our ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest we dash our foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and other, the young lion and the dragon shall we trample underfoot. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. We shall call upon him, and he will answer us. He will be with us in trouble. He will deliver us, and he will honor us. With long life will he satisfy us and show us his salvation. Can we um, again read that verse 14 to 16 again? Because we have set our love upon him, he will deliver us. He will set us on high because we have known his name. We shall call upon him and he will answer us. He will be with us in trouble. He will deliver us and honor us. With long life will he satisfy us and show us his salvation. So shall it be for us in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us pray for the vessel that God has used for us this evening. That God in his infinite mercy we increase our in the name of Jesus. Can we pray this prayer seriously? God has used that this evening to lead us into his presence. That God in his infinite mercy should increase him in the name of Jesus. More auction to function in the name of Jesus more strength from above in the name of jesus can we pray this prayer concerning our life our family that god will continue to move our forward in the name of jesus that god will answer all the prayers in the name of jesus in the name of jesus father we pray that you god will bless her in the name of jesus with wisdom with knowledge with power in the name of jesus Thank you, Jesus, because you are God. For in Jesus' mightiest name, we have prayed. For in Jesus' mightiest name, we have prayed. Amen. If you are happy to be in the presence of God this evening, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Offering time, blessing time. I don't know if we are having um, anybody with uh, tight this evening. Titus can come to the front. Let's package our offering. Let's package our offering. Titus, uh, begin to decree and declare to your life. Pray to God. Ask what you need from God. That God in his infinite mercy will bless you. Will increase you in the name of Jesus. The Lord will multiply you in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mightiest name, we are free. You can drop your tight choir. What a marvelous God! What a marvelous God! He has done marvelous things for me. What a marvelous God! What a marvelous God! He is doing marvelous things for us. Hallelujah! What a marvelous God! What a marvelous God! Oh, 
presence in our midst. Lord, we say be the exalted in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray for this offering that you, God, you use it for your glory in the name of Jesus. For those that are giving, God, we pray that you, God, you increase them the more in the name of Jesus. And for those that are longing to, 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 to drop something this evening, but they don't have, God, we pray that you, God, you provide for their needs in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, move us forward in the name of Jesus. Use this offering to do great and mighty things in our life. For in Jesus' mightiest name, we are prayed. Let's do it well. Let's do it well. We are people of understanding. Let's do it well. We are not doing it for our brother. It's for the King of Kings, the Maker of the heavens and the earth. We are doing it unto. Please, let's do it well. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lord. We thank God. It's been an awesome night. Hallelujah. The Lord uh, is in his house and the Lord has blessed us mightily. I hope you are blessed. Hallelujah. And I can assure you, all those prayers are turning to solution your way. They are bringing solution your way, answers to your quest, every long longings and every desire of your heart, the Lord is bringing them to pass. In the name of Jesus. So it's a good thing that we have come to pray unto the Lord. And surely our testimonies will surely come. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to announce to you that the God of heaven has increased us by one. Again. Today, a bouncing baby boy has been added to the house through our brother Maxwell, the fair complexion brother, and Faith, the wife. I remember just beside our brother there, thank God, on that place, I was praying for her on Sunday. <laughs> and today, the husband called to say she has delivered safely. Hallelujah. Thank you. God that is with us will continue to abide with us in the name of Jesus. So we thank the Lord for what he's doing. By the special grace of God, Saturday will be our next time of meeting. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that will be our time of going out. It will be a door-to-door -door witnessing. That's the way God is leading us. It will not be a crusade. It will be us going out with the word of God. Those package of uh, uh, tracts that we have there must go out. Must go out. Amen. Amen. Aha. So by 4 p.m. we are going to gather here. And it's for the purpose of praying for one hour. Endless prayer for souls that... Everyone that we're going to reach, the Lord will prepare their heart and the word of God will gain fruit. We, I mean, we, we bring fruit their way. And the Lord of us will make them to become harvest unto him in the name of Jesus. So please, I look forward to seeing you. Let's come. By five, we'll be out. And it will be one hour on the street ministering to people in this neighborhood so please come and join us so that we do the lord's bidding i hope you'll be there i hope you'll be there i will be there if you're going to be there let me see your hands up thank you my brother thank you my sister aha my son aha thank you ernest ah you are not you uh, my son you must be there okay uh -huh, I know, I know my sister. Uh, Emeka? Ah, I didn't see. Ah, okay. Okay, I know Festus will be there. Okay. On this, on this platform, go. I can see you. And hey, you promise. Hallelujah. Uh -huh, Toby. Hallelujah. My sister, are you going somewhere? 
Okay. So let us all come. It is well with us. In the name of Jesus. Can we rise up? Can we rise up? Oh, do we have first timer? Tonight is the first time? Okay. We don't have. Oh, wow. Please, can you come? We appreciate your coming tonight. Thank we you for coming. Oh, and our mommy too. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you. We are singing for you. May you really be blessed. May you really be blessed. As you fellowship with us. In the name of the Lord. May you really be blessed. May you really be blessed. As you fellowship with us. In the name of the Lord. Welcome you to the Father's welcome to Potter's house. Thank you for coming. We know you are blessed tonight. You have prayed. God hear us here and the Lord has answered you as you have prayed to him tonight in the name of Jesus. My brother, thank you for coming. God bless you. Please, can you just meet our brother it's just for a few seconds? Meet with him. Hallelujah. Let us rise up. We are done. Glory to the Lord tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let's take our song. The chosen generation. Hallelujah. We are the royal priesthood. We are. We are the chosen generation. Call for the Lord to show His excellence. All I require, all I require for life, God has given me. I know, I know who I am. I know who God says I am. God he says I am. Where he says I'm not. I know who I am. I know who God says I am. What he says I am. Where he says I'm not. I know who I am. I'm walking in power. I walk in miracles, I live a life of faith. I know who I am. I walk in power. I walk in miracles, I live a life of faith. I know who I am. Take care of me and my water. It doesn't matter what it's saying for now. See his body. I know who I am. Take care of me and my water. services and we are continuing on that theme that the Lord has given to us and there are testimonies that are bound the seven spirits of God and we are going to the spirit of might this coming Sunday so let's get set for it the Lord will really move mightily in his house in the name of Jesus it's also our welfare Sunday so please as many that needs one thing or the other please let's encourage them to come I know the uh, brethren, they are preparing and they are still waiting. Full stops. You can still bring it Sunday. It's not late. Household items, let's bring them. You know, things for babies, let's bring them. Whatever it is that God has laid in your heart, please bring them. There are people that need them and they will bless, your heart. They will bless you with their heart when you, when you give them out. To them it is well with us in the name of jesus okay so let's share the grace of god together in fellowship the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god 
and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. And surely God's goodness and his mercy will follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Our CCG, the potter's house, the place of my recreation in God's hands. Our CCG, the potter's house, the place of my change story. Hallelujah.